I am here at the North American LCS joined by Trick2G. Trick, a lot of people have been seeing you on broadcast lately. I've seen you every week, I think, at the LCS, probably most days on, on the weekends here. Now, what has been bringing you out to the LCS the uh, last couple of weeks? I don't know. I just kind of need a, you know, a little vacation time, yeah. and you know, I'm about 40 minutes out. Nice. What, uh, what have you thought about the game so far, the split? Pretty sad, man. When it comes to finishing the games, you know, people, if they just integrated the gates into their game yeah. and, you know, worked on, you know, decision making, it it looked clean. But yeah. they just won a team death match like it's like, you know, my bronze sub wars. Yeah. It's really fucking bad. Yeah. So NALCS is as bad as bronze sub wars. Is that what I'm hearing? Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, you know, I'm available, you know, on the side. So, you know, if you're if some somebody's looking for, you know, some some gate, like a gate analyst, yeah. I'm willing to help every single team, actually. Yeah. Really? You could be the gate analyst for the entire North American LCS? I, hey, they need it. Okay. They yeah. need it. That, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, you seem to be very tightly tied to CLG these days. So I saw you've been hanging out with them a little bit, and, uh, you know, there was that rumor about you being a coach or anything. What What's your relationship with CLG? Um, you know, I, I went to the house, you know, a little, little vacation time, a little time off, and next thing you know it, um, I, I'm on Afro Moose stream, and I'm, I wake up, and I'm the coach. Yeah. Confirmed on Reddit. Yeah. And that's that simple. Do you think Reddit ever makes these things happen themselves whenever you see these things? Uh, you know, you never know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, anything's possible, you know, with, with, with NALCS, the way things are, you know, playing out, and... Nobody ever uh, just finishing games. Yeah. You know, I can just come right in there because, you know, Reddit wants it, and yeah. we'll just give it to them. Would you ever consider competing in the LCS given the opportunity? No. Yeah. I love streaming. Uh, I love opening the gates. I do it all the time. Like I said last time, if they just tuned in in my stream, they would actually um, see what I do. And, you know, when I'm split pushing, you know, you see how bad, you know, my teammates are, and you yeah. see me, you know, fuck these guys they don't listen you know and that's the thing you you see that you see how bad you know solo queue is and it's pretty much the same thing but then again you know it is an lcs game and you know the heat of the moment they don't have one guy that understands the gates like yeah. dyrus he decided to pour it in and he could have just taken three and hips double super minions come out i mean but you know they ended up winning and gravity making bad calls here and there and it's like just frustrating and i got this vape right here yeah Controls to salt. Yeah. I walked out of the, I walked out of the the first game, teammate versus TDK because Labman put me on fucking tilt. Yeah. When he just fucking went full double lift on, you know how he flies in and tries to take out the back line. I think double lift did that versus TSM and or, yeah, did, did it versus TSM, first split. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? And yeah. you know, it's frustrating. It's it frustrating. Is, it is. So, but you, so you don't actually have like an official role with CLG then? I don't, I don't, okay. I don't. You know, I, you know, I'm here. You know, maybe, hey man, get some of these fucking dragons. Yeah. You, I mean, you had two free. Um, forgot what team it was, but yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was yeah. free. You're playing Nunu. You know, you you get all the dragons. You get all even if you're down ten kills. Boom, you get five and you end the game. Now you and Steve Perino were tweeting about hanging out recently at E3, and CLG plays Team Liquid next next week. What are your thoughts on that that match? Yo, Team Liquid is gonna get bent over. Bottom wow. line. Wow. Okay, so just that simple? It's that simple. It's okay. that simple. What happens if Team Liquid wins? Like, and you've said this statement in an interview. I'll be on my boat. Okay, you'll be on your boat. There That's you fair. Yeah. Later, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, speaking of your boat, are you are you living in California now? Um, I, I'm on vacation right now. Okay. Cool. You know, I wanted to experience all this. You know, yeah. I, I love this. I've been doing it for almost three years, full time streaming, and you know, why not come out here and get some, uh, you know, this nice weather? Yeah. You know, Virginia is just like. Oh, yeah. Garbage. So when do you go back home? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So this is your last day. Are you gonna come back oh, anytime yeah. in the future? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. You know, I love it out here. So yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. You know, get everything in, in order. Yeah. And of course, you know, watch the, uh, see a. Uh, you know, watch LCS yeah. and you know, coach uh, coach CLG on the side. Yeah. Don't tell anyone, though. No. Yeah. Right. I won't. I won't. No one will know at all. Okay. all right. Yeah. Hey, the other question I wanted to ask you about is uh, it seems like Team 2G's been having some news headlines lately. Uh, a couple days ago, there was a bunch of conversation about a bunch of the streamers getting kicked after an event uh, by the woman managing. Uh, do you have any comment on any of that? 
I don't know, you know, when it comes down to it, I work so much, you yeah. know, she, you know, she wanted to, you know, take over the team. I let her, you know, I love streaming and, you know, she did a lot for a lot of the streamers on there and, you know, things happen and they happen for a reason and, you know, I just didn't get too involved with it because, okay. you know, I just, I put like 14, 16 hours a day a lot of times and, you know, that's why I'm here to kind of like, you know, just, just basically. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever people see like Team 2G nowadays, that's, I mean, I know you're still affiliated with it, still your, your stuff, but are you, you're not really running it day to day? Oh, no, no. You know, I mean, you know, I, I have my say, but most of the time it, it's her. She, yeah. she, you know, she does everything, you know. She also has a business on the side where she helps her husband do this and that. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot. And, you know, she probably works harder than I do. Hardly gets no sleep. So she probably stresses harder than me when all I do is sit down and stream and yeah. just, just have fun. Yeah. Well, anything you want to say to any of the Trick 2G fans out there? Uh, you know me. I'm going to continue to open the gates. I'm going to continue to be one salty motherfucker. And if NA doesn't get their shit together, we're fucked. Because Faker's out there, and he's going to shit all over everybody. And the Chinese teams, yes, you can buy all the Koreans, but you got to get through Faker, baby. Yeah, It's true. It's true. Thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our League of Legends coverage at GameSpot.com. He's the final boss. Remember that. Dot, keepswat.com slash lol. And later, bitch. <laughs>